Go! Go! Stupid! Go! Yeah! Hi, welcome back to this Fanless Gamer. We're playing NES games in the order they came out, and today we're playing four games. We're playing Phantom Fighter. Uh, we're playing Pinbot, Snake's Revenge, and uh, Snoopy's Silly Sports Spectacular. And our first game today is Phantom Fighter, uh, which came out in 1990, I believe. And, uh, well, let me just, yeah, 1990. And the box art is just a purpley pink uh, border with a guy kicking some ghosts and another guy in the background. And I don't have the back of the box, so let's just play the game. Graphics. What am I looking at? What is this thing? Why do I care? Ah, he's looking at me. It's creepy. Okay. Town one. Kinchi, we've been waiting for you. <sighs> Great. Why am I two people? What? Oh, you're attempting to make a beat em up game. You're bad at this. Graphics are not good. The controls are not great. He moves very slow. The animation's good. But that doesn't mean it's a good fighting uh, beat em up. It, you can't kick or do anything when you're crouched? That's stupid. I'm bored with it. Yeah, I'd rather play Kung Fu, like the original NES Kung Fu. It's... I mean, they're trying. What a weak and miserable boss he is. He can't be helped. I will go out on my own as an authentic martial artist to beat Kaiyanshin. Hi, ha, ha. It's only a joke. It won't help to be too hasty. Let's carefully evaluate the password. Okay. Boss, shall we try again or give up for now? Go rest. You fool, I was only a bit careless. You are not nearly a true phantom fighter. Let's hurry up with our journey. Don't be lazy. Follow me. Let's go in this door instead. Does every door have a little fight like that? Apparently it does. And it's all kind of the same fight. Well... That's sure interesting. Uh, let's rate it. So, Phantom Fighter graphics. Uh, we'll give it a five. Sound is okay, I guess. Three, music. Uh, it's alright. Four, story. Um, two and a half. Controls, a two and a half. Funness, a two. Just does it hold my attention? A two and overall, a two and a half for Phantom Fighter. Let's move on to the next game. So our next game today is Pinbot, which came out in 1989. And we can see the box art here is very small. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, Dare Pinbot to uh, the Pinball Challenge. So this, this is based on the Pinbot arcade, I mean, uh, pinball table. If you think pinball is fun, wait till you try video Pinbot. The over, outer world sound effects, the fastest light, is that supposed to be out of this world sound effects? The outer world sound effect? I don't know. Fastest light action will blow you away. Live action flippers move with lightning speed. Bumpers and shoots jet your ball across the galaxy. Pinbot himself growls out messages of doom during your battle. Uh, flashing light and color in a menacing, menacing attempt to stun you into confusion. Just when you think you have it down, here comes another ball. A chance to earn bonus points, sure, but an extra challenge too. Master that and Pinball tosses another evil shock. An unpredictable ball gobbling monster. Oh no, Bob. Oh, ball gobbling monster. He wants to end your turn now. It's the best of pinball action. It's Pinbot live action pinball for one or four players. It's live action pinball with video excitement. Okay, let's stay away from the ball gobbling monsters.
Okay. Whoa. Okay. So, let's try to figure out here what the buttons do. It's so weird that the t scrolls, but the flippers are always on the screen. He's a pinball wizard, folks. Tommy would not be very good at video pinball, I think. Wow, okay. It's been a long time since I played the, uh, table, so I don't know. I don't know how accurate this is. I mean, obviously it's not accurate because it's NES pinball, but... Seems pretty faithful to me from what I can see. Like, I die. Well, it's very pinbot graphics. Uh, six sound doesn't quite capture the sound effects of a pinball game. Music, a five and a half story. Uh, it's pinball. Controls are fine. Eight funness. Um, I mean, there are better ways to play virtual pinball, but you know, at the time, it was pretty decent. Six and a half. Let this hold my attention, a three and a half, and overall, I'm gonna give it a five and a half. Pretty good pinball game for the NES, but there are much, much, much better ways to play video pinball. And let's move on to the next game. Okay, our next game today is Snake's Revenge, which was uh, the sequel to Metal Gear on the NES that Hideo Kojima had nothing to do with. Um, but yes, let's take a look. Came out in 1990. And we just got a box art here. It's pretty cool. It's got the Michael Bean uh, ripoff artwork. And we got a train and whoever that lady is. Back of the box. The following commands may be ignored by cowards, traitors, and enemy spies. After his ironclad plan to rule the world rusted away, crazed Colonel Vermin Katafi went psycho. Unfortunately, your two best friends took the brunt of his friend night and lost their fight to live. As nutty as ever, Katafi has... Okay, what a name. Vermin Katafi. That's See, Hideo Kojima never would have had a silly name like that. Uh, has so Asylum from the world's premier bad guy, Hayarola Kakameme. Grateful to his Rola Radical, the colonel has donated his biggest, baddest, ultra-chic uh, nuclear attack tank to his fellow madman's world-dominating cause. Now your mission is not only to save Earth, but to inflict revenge. It's a job you'll definitely take personally as you infiltrate a nation of armed lunatics, blow up a battleship, hijack a train, locate dozens of weapons and a truth serum that will force enemy commanders to spill their guts, then destroy vermin, Hyrola, and the Earth-threatening device with one lethal blow. All this while staying in radio contact with a foxy spy named Jennifer and a stealth copter pilot who will be hovering nearby. What do you think, Snake? Are you commando enough to handle this Kakamimi scheme? Ugh. All right, Snake's Revenge, here we go. So this was the sequel to Metal Gear. Um, I loved Metal Gear as a kid, played a lot of it, and uh, loved that game. And I remember getting this one being disappointed, um, not knowing anything about Hideo Kojima at the time. But I just knew I wasn't as big a fan of this game as I was the original. Lieutenant Snake receives information from our intelligence man at the enemy's base. They have a weapon. Is it Metal Gear, which you destroyed three years ago? Question mark. Go to the enemy base with two men. The pilot, the pilot knows the route. All right. Oh, I'm getting a call. Transceiver. Snake. The. Okay. <laughs> So it's just kind of more of the same from the first NES Metal Gear game, but not as good. I don't... Now, the actual sequel to Metal Gear, which was never released on the NES, um, was really good. Just... 
and I could do better, but I choose not to. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going there anyway. And I'm dead. Yeah, so I could play more of that. It's not actually as bad as people make it out to be, and maybe I'll play it over on my second channel um, more. Graphics are fine. Uh, give them a six. Sound is, you know, six. Music is a six. Story, uh, about a three. Controls, uh, well, maybe a four and a half. Funness, uh, four. Does it hold my attention? Uh, it's Metal Gear adjacent, so a little bit. Five, and we'll give it a six overall. Let's move on to the last game of the day. All right, our last game today is Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular, which came out in 1990. And the box art um, just kind of has Snoopy there, and uh, I can't remember his uncle's name. And back of the box. Hey, kids, come along with Snoopy, his dusty brother Spike. There we go. It's his brother, Spike. And his good pal Woodstock to prepare for to compete in Snoopy Silly Sports Spectacular with a friend or by yourself. You can give the world's most famous beagle a big hand as he goes for the gold in six funny games filled with thrills, spills, giggles, and wiggles. The sack race is our first kooky contest. Get ready, set, go. It's Snoopy and Spike hopping against the clock. Watch out! Those manhole covers could easily trip you up. Next try, river jump. Just fetch a long stick and vault over the river's other side. Oops, splash. Oh, well, there's always another day and another event. In fact, with four more games, boot throwing, pogo steeplechase, overboard, and pile of pizza race. With its superior on superior to what? On-screen graphics and realistic rendered characters, there's serious fun for kids of all ages. Alternative, there's more fun here than a month of Sunday comics. Okay. Uh, that seems like it was a note to the editor of the story, the alternative thing at the end there. I don't know. Chemco presents... What? Why is there a floating Statue of Liberty in Colosseum? Okay, Snoopy's flying from America to ancient Rome, or to Rome. Okay. I'm with you so far, Snoopy. You've never let me down before. Okay, so this appears to be the sack race. Oh no, I have to actually hit the button. What? What is happening? Oh, I had to wait for the weird gun thing. Boy, this is fun. over yet? It's over. It's over. Oh, I don't care if I won or lost. It's just over. That's all I care about. No, I don't want to try again. All right. Well, that was it, huh? Uh, overboard. Let's try the overboard game. Oh, it's a fighting game. Dog fight. Dog fight. And I won. I killed my brother Spike. Oh, that was that game. <laughs> uh, boot throwing. Ow. I'll try again. It went in the air. Zero feet. It looked like it was at least a foot to me. Uh, pile of pizza. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Just drop them all. I want to try the next game. This one's stupid. This is a oh, there is a finish line. Look at that. Got two pizzas. Or four. Look like two to me. Okay. What else we got? Pogo. <laughs> I smushed his face. Uh, 
Oh. I can't get over the stupid wall. Go! Go! Stupid! Go! Yeah! Now we're snooping. Oh. And last but not least, River Jump. And I stopped caring somewhere around that point. Graphics. They're bright, they're colorful. I'll give them a six uh, for a kid's game. Sound. Sound is fine. Four and a half. Music. Uh, four and a half. Story. A one. Controls are okay. Five. Funness. Uh, for a little kid, this might have been a fun little sports title. Um, I'll give it a four and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, not really. Two. And overall, we're going to give it a four and a half. You know, especially for a little kid, that would have been pretty fun and cute. That's it. Like, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. And we'll see you next game.